breaking news again. Georgia wide receiver George Pickens has tested positive for the coronavirus. Uh, one day after JT Daniels, the legend, test positive. Um, now, I have heard that this was a... He did test negative after this test. And so they think it might have been a false positive. Um, so I'm not sure uh, what uh, the plans are for that. Um, but I have been told that he did test positive for COVID-19. And then it was a false negative. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, that... Uh, it sucks. Um, hopefully, it's a false negative, and hopefully, they'll be hopefully be uh, tested again over and over until they have, have like three false negatives, and then they can conclude, okay, he really don't have it. So, but if he does have it and he tests positive again, that means George Pickens will not be available for the Orange Bowl. Now, Orange uh, uh, George Pickens is the most talented wide receiver on the team, but he was not the best wide receiver this year. Like I said in my previous video, Lad McConkey was the best wide receiver this year. I don't care what anybody says. He was a two-star wide receiver, and he played like a five-star wide receiver. Um, he adjusted to Stetson Bennett's underthrows and overthrows. He adjusted to the ball. That's a good wide receiver, somebody who can adjust to a sorry quarterback throwing the football. So he can adjust. JT was like that last year when JT hadn't played in two years. JT was like that last year. He came out through almost 400 yards in his first game. He was underthrowing people and overthrowing guys. And that's what George's uh, wide receivers, that they are experts in adjusting to underthrows and overthrows. I mean, I'm talking experts because these boys will absolutely break their freaking back to catch a football because uh, that's just what Georgia quarterbacks do. Uh, we haven't had a great Georgia quarterback since Matthew Stafford, Aaron Murray. That's it. it stopped at Aaron Murray. Stopped. Then we had Hudson Mason, who I liked, but he wasn't the best. Grayson Lambert, dud. Um, then we had Jacob Eason, okay. Then we had Jake Fromm for three years. I'm not going to even go into Jake Fromm. And then we had the myth, Stetson freaking Bennett, the mailman. <sighs> then we had JT. And we're back with Stetson. So that's been the QB problem. But anyway, but these wide receivers, they make these awesome, crazy catches. Um, some of these underthrows. Lab McConkey, one of them, freshman, he's a two-star. He was like the 1,200 player in his class. Something ridiculous. But Kirby Smart saw something in this dude, and he absolutely balled his butt out today. And I really hope that he will be a starter next year because he should be. The dude started most of this year. He was phenomenal. Brock Bowers was phenomenal. Um, Brock Bowers will be a starter next year along with Darnell. Um, but yeah, George Pickens test positive. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he, uh, doesn't have it. Cause if he does, that's going to be a problem. Um, it's not like we didn't have him playing all year anyway.